Hey guys, how are you all doing today? Now for today's video, I want to discuss one of the most important pieces of the Jurassic World Dominion trailer. So nearly two-thirds of the way in, we get to see this massive unknown facility in the middle of nowhere. And in this facility, many people have begun to wonder what its main purpose is, seeing how it seems very futuristic and shares some resemblances to Manticore's island and t technology especially considering that the helicopter on the side of the screenshot does actually suggest manticore but what if i were to tell you that this is not actually the case what if i were to tell you that this entire facility may be of two secrets with one of them being a reference to lewis dodson's original plans in the lost world novel So in order to properly understand what this facility is, we need to look at all the times we see it in the trailer. Now apart from the wide shot where we get the basic layout of this sign, there are many dinosaurs of specific importance that we do see in this. Of course being the main one being the Giga at the end of the trailer, and also Interestingly enough, we also see a Therizinosaurus in an environment very similar to the one we see here, as well as if you look closely in the last shot where we see the Giga, one thing that strikes very interestingly is a piece of flame that falls down towards the ground. However, on closer inspection, this is actually revealed to be a massive insect which actually shares quite a resemblance to the prehistoric locusts that we see earlier in the trailer that were on the farm that Ellie Sattler was shown to be in. And seeing how a lot of the new creatures have come to this, I believe that the answer to this actually, for what this facility, at least on the outside, could be, is actually due to the Lost World novel. You see, in the novel, Lewis Dotson's basic plan for collecting dinosaurs was to actually create a dinosaur hunting preserve so that people could freely poach dinosaurs without any legal interference. This was because he would re-engineer the dinosaurs to make them their own and that no one would be able to stop him from doing so. And since one of the biggest topics about the film, according to Colin Trevorrow, is dinosaur poaching, this would actually be very well explained, seeing as how most of the dinosaurs we've already seen in this sort of location are in fact new dinosaurs, including the Giganotosaurus, these prehistoric locusts, the Therizinosaurus, and probably many more, including dinosaurs we've already seen before, and this would also explain why it hasn't been revealed to the public to get any interest as if it's just known as a hunting preserve then not many people would show much interest in what secrets it may hold however if we look at the layout of the building it seems that it's not just for dinosaurs or prehistoric locusts as if we look at the layout of it in line with the river it seems that we could be having this for aquatic dinosaurs as well or aquatic reptiles sorry now this could be explained to be either the Mosasaurus or even the possible introduction of a new aquatic species since for the longest time there's been rumors and theories about Plesiosaurus making appearances in the film so it's very possible that Biosyn could be using this as a facility to make their new dinosaurs in secret and that would explain why nobody knows of them because according to the public this is basically a hunting preserve where people can come to hunt. Now, for the inside of this is another matter, and I feel like what this facility really is, is secretly the hunting preserve is just to mask its real intentions. As later on in the trailer, we also see that Dr. Wu seems to be working on some sort of human genome. Now, we don't know what this genome is for, though we do see Maisie in the shot where it showcases a DNA sequence, so it may be that he's working on human cloning again, as it was a major part of Fallen Kingdom's ending, where it was revealed that Maisie was in fact the first human clone, which seems how Biosyn would most likely want to get onto that sort of field before anyone else could. It makes a lot of sense. And speaking of the layout, if we look at the center of it, it seems to have some sort of arena, which may do 
may in fact be maybe where dinosaur fights could be happening, or where they keep their most dangerous, such as the Giganotosaurus, Atrociraptors, Pyroraptors, or any other super dangerous ones that they don't want out to the public just yet. But, really guys, it is an interesting thing if this is some sort of hunting preserve. I originally thought that this could be a sanctuary, and then what happens is it gets destroyed by Biosyn, as it would explain why many of the new dinosaurs show up in this and why in the last shots we see it completely on fire. But seeing as we see Grant and Owen and both their teams actually in the facility seeming to try and sabotage and deal with the threats inside, I don't think this is the case anymore. I think that this is the headquarters of Biosyn and for what purposes it may hold, we don't fully know. But anyway guys, what do you think is the real purpose of it, and especially on the inside? And do you think that it's masked as some sort of hunting preserve? As Also, if we look at the landscape of it, it shows a lot of posts that seem to be for hunters to be able to hide from the dinosaurs in case of an emergency. That way for, you know, safety and that people can get their money. As we've seen many hunters try out in the open and have failed. But... Who knows guys what this really is? What do you think its purpose is going to be? And also, what do you think are the secrets that it's holding inside? And what dinosaurs do you think are going to be in this facility that we don't know of yet? We know that the gig is going to be there. We know that there's going to be some chaos there, but we just don't know what level this chaos will be. But whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them all in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.